Hey everybody, it's Ben Streeter from EFI University, and I'm here to help you today with a little tech tip for communicating with your Mtron series of ECUs. Whether you have the KV8, KV12, KV16, or any of the SL series ECUs, they all communicate the same way using a Cat5 Ethernet cable. The reason that's different is most older ECUs that aren't as fast and don't transmit as much data, the really old stuff used a DB9 serial cable. But after a while, it got hard to find a laptop that used that, so most ECU manufacturers have now all changed over to USB. So there's USB, USB 2.0, now I think there's even a 3.0, but none of those systems are really fast enough to transmit all of the data capable in an Mtron ECU. So what happens is guys buy an Mtron, they get home and they're excited to use it and they plug in their computer and nothing happens. And they're frustrated and they can't figure out why. So they're constantly calling the tech support line, they'll call us, they'll call their tuners, and they can't figure out why it doesn't communicate. Well, part of the reason is that the ECU uses a different style cable. This is a Cat5 Ethernet cable, like what you might have at home for your computer internet or you know, your cable TV or something like that, but it uses the TCP IP internet protocol. So in order for you to get your Mtron to talk to your computer, you just gotta jump through a couple small hoops right at the beginning and get it all set up and then it'll never have problems for you again. So watch along real quick and I'll show you how to set it up if you have Windows 10. Keep in mind, if you have Windows 7, 8, XP, you can always go to the help file in the Mtron software and it'll walk you through how to set that up. But uh, I'll show you the help file when we get all done. For now, if you have Windows 10, the first thing you gotta remember is you need to have your Cat5 Ethernet cable plugged into your ECU and to your computer before it will even detect that there's a, a, something there for it to look at. So we've got our cable connected and typically what'll happen is you'll get to this point, you'll open your software, and down here in the bottom left corner, it says not connected. Well, darn it, I really want it to be connected, but I can't seem to get it to do that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close out the software here. And in Windows, I'm just gonna go down here to the taskbar and I want you to just type in control panel. Okay, now that I've got control panel typed in, it shows up in my little menu. I'm just gonna double click on that. And I'm gonna come down to network and internet and I'm gonna click on view status and task. When I click on that, it should bring up any networks that are already connected. And remember, you wanna have your ethernet cable already connected when you do this. So I see two different connections. One is my current internet access, and the other is this unknown sort of unidentified network. That's probably gonna be our Mtron. So what I'm gonna do is go over here where it says ethernet two, it's highlighted, so I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna come down to the bottom on properties. Here's what you need to do. When you get to the properties, you wanna open up the TCP IP version four, just like it says in your Mtron help file. I'm gonna double click there. And then I'm gonna click on use the following IP address. Now all Mtron computers use the same address. So all you have to do is type in 192.168.1.50. Then there's a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255 and zero and hit OK. That's it. Now we're all set up. I'm gonna open my Mtron software here. And uh, as it's opening up, it's going through and it's auto detecting whether or not we have a cable and you'll notice the difference. Now it says EC is detected. From this point, we can now start looking at what's going on in our actual vehicle. So what you might do is you might go here to open ECU. You'll notice now that's available. So I'll double click on it. It's gonna open up whatever files currently in the ECU. And if I wanted to send something else, obviously I could do that. But now that we're in the software, let me just show you real quick. If you go up to the help menu, open that up and go to introduction and come down to ethernet connection, it will give you choices. If you have Windows 8.1, Windows 7, Windows XP and so forth, then it'll give you instructions exactly on how you can set it up so that you can talk to your Mtron computer. I hope you found that helpful. And if you watch this video and look out for others, we'll have more and more information coming your way. So stay tuned.